is the Mac Studio worth it for developers or game developers in general? The answer is yes, and let's get into it a little bit. By the way, my name is Adam and welcome to the Adam Lab. The reason that the M1 Max or the M1 Ultra worth it because it will definitely improve your workflow. And I will get into that and I will get into the recommendations of what type of developer you are and what machine that you need. However, I have seen many videos saying, oh, the Mac Studio is not worth it. Oh, the Mac Studio is not worth it for developers. That is not the case because in my opinion, at least, you would not be looking at these new machines and thinking about buying them if you don't have at least a slight need for them. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, do not get into the thingy of shopping or corporate or whatever or capitalism or whatever that might be. It's a system in order to push you to buy stuff. No, no one is forcing you to buy anything. And if you need a device, and you need the device in order to do your work better and have more streamlined process then you will be good to go because if no one ever did that all of us will be using cheaper windows laptops so yeah with that in mind the mac studio is definitely worth it for developers and especially game developers you are getting one of the newest architectures with the best performance ever to be existed in a mac before and not only a mac but in a PC form factor that is a small, it looks nice, it looks attractive at the same time. So if you are doing something like iOS development, which you have to get a Mac for, and that is my case, or if you are doing web development, or if you are doing backend development, or you are a full stack developer, or even if you are using something like TensorFlow, Swift, or even with any other language, maybe Python or whatever that might be, if you are into the AI and artificial intelligence, the M1 Mac Studio will do great with you and you will be very happy with it and you will be ha very happy with the performance. Now, if you are a game developer and you are making games using Unity or Unreal Engine, by the way, if you want to know how these perform, you can check the channel. I do have multiple videos about that. And the M1 Ultra will be great for you. You will definitely improve your work and you will be able to work faster and you will be able to have a machine that will last you a very long time with having an official support from Apple plus you would be able to make great things and make games about anime so I can buy them and uh, play them and probably talk about them in this channel so if you're making an anime game just let me know with those stuff out of the way and just stating that yes the Mac is worth it for developers or game developers in general and how it can be beneficial to them what are the other alternatives from Mac Studio the other alternatives are still in the Apple ecosystem and you will be looking at something like a 16 inch or a 14 inch MacBook Pro maybe with the M1 Max or even if you are let's say a web developer you can look at something like the MacBook Air with 16 gigabyte of RAM which I have used and I still own to this day and I have used for around a year and a half for all of my iOS development and schoolwork and it was a wonderful machine that I didn't have any issues with and I still prefer to use this machine over anything else even though I do have access to a Mac Studio and I do have access to a fully specced out 16 inch MacBook Pro plus the iPad Pro as well however my choice most of the time will be my beloved rose gold 13 inch MacBook Air just because it's light and it's a really fast machine and you can get all your basic development work with and you can take it with you anywhere uh, plus it's fellless so you wouldn't hear a thing out of it granted the mac studio and the m1 max 16 inch macbook pro i have not heard their fan turned on to this day aside from me of course stressing them out doing the test for you guys on this channel but aside from that with my daily usage i have never to worry about the fan being turned on in any scenario which is a segue into the scenarios where the Mac Studio would make more sense aside from a laptop and it would make sense for you if you have a studio or you have a stationary place that you always work at or if you are always working at a desk such as my friend Alex definitely the Mac Studio would be a very good machine plus you will be saving on the cost because if you own your monitor and mouse and keyboard you can simply get the Mac Studio it would be way cheaper than a laptop and for $2,000 with $8,100 if you are a student and you are in the US. And I do have a video about how to get that Mac for 
the price of 1800 even if you weren't a student just check the channel and then you will see that price or you will see how to get that price so for something close to two thousand dollars you can get a machine that is very powerful and swipe the floor with most of the pc market computers that are in the same price bracket plus you are getting a system that is a clean that has a terminal which is very important for developers or game developers as well as long as you are a stationary and working in one place and then you do have a plenty of io to connect whatever you want to connect into that machine and you are using a new architecture that is the m1 which by now it has been established as one of the faster cpus ever existed in the recent century and that is a glimpse on why the mac studio is worth it for developers and game developers as well